Howdy y'all. It is shoulder and arm day. So, um, we are at Greg Gym. This is probably the last time we'll ever be here. So this the is, time, it, I think, pardon me. This is my last time at this gym. So we'll, uh, this is going to be a nostalgic one. And to top it off, it's also shoulder and arm day. My favorite day of the week, Henry as well. So, mm -hmm. um, y'all already know there's a split. Uh, we're gonna hit all three heads of the shoulder. And unlike last shoulder and arm day, we're not going to alternate between uh, bicep tricep. Instead, we're we tried it. I didn't like it that much. Um, I felt like the last two exercises, tricep, bicep, in the last workout, um, they just didn't give me as much of a pump as our normal arm split, in which we hammer tricep completely and then hammer bicep completely. So today's arm day, we're gonna do, we're gonna again hit hammer the tricep all the way into bicep, and. Uh, let's talk about cardio. So, 150 minutes a week of zone two heart cardio is uh, the minimum that y'all should be doing in order to maximize longevity. I, stupidly, uh, two days ago ran around the entire Ladybird Lake. Well, I, I would say I ran like four miles and then I walked like five or six more, and then I like lightly jogged the rest. But in total, I was on that trail for like two to three hours. So that is my cardio for the week. Uh, so Henry's gonna be doing elliptical by himself for the rest of the week. All right, let's, uh, it's Greg Jim, so no pre-pump check. We will see you on the gym. All right, quick addendum. <laughs> Greg Jim is closed for staff appreciation. So we're going to postpone the Greg appreciation lift for a later date. So we are now on our way to crunch. We'll see y'all in that gym.
checked. And as y'all can see from the split, we did way less sets than normal. So like stereotypical bicep tricep day, we're doing three sets of an extension, three sets of an overhead, three sets of supinated bicep curl, three sets hammer. But uh, I got some advice that maybe I should just do less sets and hit harder weight. So we got way closer to failure on our sets by slowing down the eccentrics, holding the squeeze just a tad bit longer and upping the weight. And I honestly feel just as fatigued as I would on a, on a day where we have six sets uh, per arm group. So this might become the new normal. All right, let's, uh, let's hit some poses. Can you see if uh, the camera catches in here? Yeah, it catches everything on the right side. And then uh, we'll hit one more freaking classic pose. <sighs> there is no pump quite like shoulder and arms. All right, moving on. All right, y'all. Uh, that concludes shoulder and arm day, post lift, got some more food in us, uh, and yeah, nothing else much to say. Uh, in terms of food consumption though, I have these guys no longer counting macros. So there's only two things that we really prioritize, uh, A being the protein intake, and when, we're, when you're on a bulk, uh, according to science, you should be intaking somewhere between 0.6 to 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Except, there's also new, more recent research to show that there's no upper tolerable intake limit for protein. So, the more protein you take, intake, uh, the more gains you're going to make. However, it is diminishing. So, if, you, if finances are not a problem for you, ingest as much protein as you can. That's my recommendation. And that's the situation we're in, where we're just putting in as much protein as possible. However, like there's still, we're still shooting for a bare minimum standard. And I currently weigh uh, 180 pounds at the end of the night, uh, post feed and uh, completely hydrated. So I'm shooting for at least, I said 0.6 to 0.8. I'm, I'm still shooting for like minimum, minimum 160 grams of protein a day, but anything past that is, is good news. So. And then, secondly, the second thing we're tracking is total calorie intake. So, based on the app I'm using, uh, Chronometer, uh, my maintenance is somewhere around 3,500 calories. So, as long as I'm eating above 3,500 calories uh, and taking more than 160 grams of protein, I should be building muscle. And the scale is telling me that I am. And my numbers on the bench press, on on lists that we're actually tracking uh, our our weight, it, it, we're seeing progress. So if I'm gaining weight and I'm getting stronger, I must be putting on muscle. <clears throat> yep. All right. So tomorrow is the last day of our six day split. It's gonna be legs, and maybe maybe people will actually go to Greg. So we'll see about that. <laughs> uh, and then. Sparsh didn't work out with us, so he's going to get a late night lift in today. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next one.